Today we will be unboxing and testing the Growstar Cree Cobb LED Grow Light. Okay, first thing inside the box is the user manual, which you can check out for the hanging height and other usage guidelines. Here is the spectrum listed by Growstar. They also include hanging hardware. It's just one carabiner though, so it's kind of annoying and it'll rotate on you. And they include one ratchet strap for that one carabiner. The power strip is included. This is the US version. And now on to the light itself. You can see the Cree cobs in the middle there, surrounded by other LEDs. It's kind of hefty. The case is made out of metal, which is nice. Okay, on to the features of the light. You can see how I hung it. Um, with two carabiners rather than one. It has a power switch here. It does also have a port for daisy chaining the lights together. The power cable is removable and there are two fans on the back for active cooling which makes this fan um, have some noise. And here we can see the uh, specs listed on the back. If you can remember from your high school physics, power is actually equal to current times voltage. And here the voltage is 100 and the current is 1.2. That means the power should be around 120 watts, uh, but they list it as 600 watts. I wonder why that is. Let's test and see what the truth is. Looking at the actual watts from the wall, and it is 120, so your physics teacher did not lie to you. Growstar did. The temperature on the back is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, through the fins is 83 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and on the actual LED panel itself, 88 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is running pretty cool with those active fans. On to PPFD testing. Uh, I'm taking measurements in a 4x4 grid. I hung at, um, sorry, a 2x2 grid, 2x2 foot. I hung at 18 inches. The average PPFD is 410, giving me a total PPF of 152. My power draw of 121 watts gives me an efficiency of 1.26. This is not great. Um, you really want to be two or above to be called an efficient light. The average PPF of 410 is also not great for flowering. You want to be on the low end of 500 for flower. So maybe in the one foot by one foot center, you could flower a plant, but I would not recommend this for flowering in a two foot by two foot grow area. All right, that wraps up my review of the Grow Star quote unquote 600 watt Cobb LED. Uh, like I just said, I cannot recommend this for a two foot by two foot, but if you have it, um, you might be able to get by with using it in a one foot by one foot, maybe very small nano grow kind of situation. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.